and love and welcome 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 back to my venus series how to be irresistible and i'm so excited because we are trekking through and in this video we are going to discuss venus and sag baby <laughs> okay so this placement is really interesting and in the write-up that i have about venus and sagittarius i actually write that it's a buffet of stimulation. And um, uh, when I posted that onto my Facebook, a lot of people really liked that, um, that quote. And so I wanted to put that out there right now because this is one of those placements that has a plethora of ways in which they express themselves based off of Venus beauty and fashion. And this is because at this point, we have Sagittarian energy, which is opposite from um, Gemini energy. Now, Gemini energy is also one of the energies that display this sort of multi-vast uh, taste. Um, but what Sagittarius brings is Jupiter, which makes everything more expansive and makes the wardrobe and the fashion taste also more expansive and so uh the key that i'm finding and a trend that i'm finding is that the air signs are definitely more willing to venture out into different places they have more to say more layers and more complexities that happen with them okay now sagittarius being a fire sign add the element of sexy so the fire signs are going to be more vivaciously aggressively sexy and with venus and sagittarius you will find this to be the case okay so this is going to be for anyone who has sun moon rising or venus and sagittarius because those placements are part of your blueprint and after the series i will go live and discuss the blueprint so that you can like create your own Bible of the Zodiac um, beauty and fashion, your specific personal Bible. Okay, so um, when we think about Sagittarius and you look at the symbol of Sagittarius, it is the bow and arrow, like it's going to some place. And this Venus sign is about going places. And because of that, the wardrobe are typically going to express where they've come from and where they're going and so that already adds like the layer as to what their tastes are going to be like okay um and this is why this is going to be a variation because everybody comes from different cultures right and so uh, different communities and so it's not as much about the right colors in venus and sag it's about like this overall aesthetic or look because of where they've come from all right one of um the uh, greatest examples that I have on my blog about this is Nicki Minaj, who, um, especially when you look at her beginning, her beginning, she's very, very hood. Okay, like her fashion culture is very hood. She's saying like, this is where I'm coming from. She's got like the big like 1980s, 90s earrings and she's got like this um, aesthetic of her that is purely like... I come from Queens, I come from New York City, and this is my way of being, right? And then you see her progression of beauty um, when she starts to get more into pop music, because that's where she was headed, that um, things start to get more bright, neon, and like really, really cool, right? Expressing the culture of pop music, right? And so there's like this combination now from her being like blatantly hood, right? And then moving into pop culture, bringing in the elements of hood, right? And then um, from this mixture that she's created, she moves even more forward. And now you see her experimenting with cultures um, that beyond of what we thought she could, like um, um, in her song, uh, Chun-Li, she is showing off more uh, Asian aesthetic 
um, styles. So what you find here, because she's a Venus in Sagittarius, is this um, movement from where she's going, from where she's coming from to where she's going. And she brings the styles with her so that at the point of where you see her right now, that you get a little bit of where she's come from. You still get the hood, you get a, a, the pop, and then you get this new fusion of what she is. And then it could go on from there because the biggest thing about Venus and Sagittarius is that they're always going somewhere due to that arrow. It's always moving next. So her next looks in the future are going to be even more elevated, even more explorative, even more culturally fused. Um, that would be my prediction as far as her beauty goes. Okay, so that's an example of that. But the overall, this um, is a very tribal um, place, right? So whatever your tribe is, right? If if it's the community you grew up in, or if it's the religion that you're part of, or the spiritual, uh, um, you know, ideas and community that you're part of, you're going to express that through your fashion. Um, so actual like bohemian wear. Um, bohemian styles and um, actual like tr there's like a actual tribal category in fashion those would apply to this but if you don't necessarily go by those styles or like that style look to like the community that you grew up in look to where you came from because a lot of that will be one of the heightened ways that you express yourself it's it just makes you way more interesting when you show that part of yourself off and for Venus and Sagittarius, that's the way to go, okay? And then also you want to consider where you're going or what communities are you now moving into and you can embrace that as well, okay? Now, the area of the body that Sagittarius rules is actually the hips and the thighs, okay? And so, like I said, Sagittarius is very aggressively sexy right the fire signs seem to portray more of that aggressively sexy energy and with um venus and sagittarius showing off the thighs and the hips is something that just really just elevates your beauty it makes you a visually stimulating uh thing right so everybody everybody and their mama is looking at you walking away looking at that booty looking at them thighs it don't matter what size you are it doesn't matter your thighs and your hips and that ass area is everything okay so this means that thigh high boots skater skirts slits long slits up the dress right or like these um frilly frilly ideas <laughs> frilly things that like accentuate the hips anything like that um garter belts Oh, all kinds of things that point the eyes towards that area of the body is just going to ramp up your beauty on so many levels. And these placements look the best with that. Um, the other thing is that um, this placement is the Jessica Rabbit placement. When Jessica Rabbit, right, from Roger Rabbit, was introduced to the world, it was during a Saturn in Sagittarius. And Saturn is a um, an element of foundation and structure, right? And so when Jessica Rabbit came out, I feel like this was like the, the foundational means of Sagittarius, right? Like, this is the sexy, this is the ultimate sexy that we can be like because you think of jupiter jupiter is expansion so it's like when we get to that epitome of what could ignite all of our senses then this is it and jessica rabbit is a true sex symbol um, um emulated and mimicked consistently and um cosplayed as well consistently and um that is a Venus and Sag, and actually her predecessor, right? The idea of Jessica Rabbit and where that came from is from Red Rot Riding Hood, right? So if you look up Red Hot Red Rot Red Hot Riding Hood, if you look up Red Hot Riding Hood or Miss Vavoom, you will find that um, this is actually the, the predecessor to Jessica Rabbit, and even more so, both of them portray this hip this idea of hips 
in the um in the drawings of them right jessica rabbit not only is is it the hips but it's also just the proportion of the body but she also does have a slit on her dress all the way up the thigh that's venus and sag and um miss favoom or red hot riding hood she actually does the frills it's like a leotard and then has frills which accentuate the entire hip area um, and so this is all portraying that venus and sagittarius emblem of where your sex lives in your body like where the attraction lives in your body okay the um the color range is actually extremely vari variations right you can be more simplistic but even in your simplicity it's not boring it's extremely sexy but more than likely you're going to go for like you know maybe like browns hues like things that are very earthy but also natural all the way to neons and reds and combinations of that this placement is also big on patterns like i said the tribal patterns or just whatever patterns are big in your community right so for instance if you if your community or where you grew up was big on um maybe african like culture then maybe you'll have more kente cloths you know um if you are big on something else then you'll want to portray that in your clothing and so the variation of of colors are going to be pretty strong here this placement is the placement for changing the hair color um as you can see from my example with Nicki minaj like she has gone through the gamut of different hair colors and also has simplified her hair and been more natural as well, which shows you that this placement likes to explore the simplistic, simplistic expressions of themselves as well as the more um, extravagant expressions of themselves, okay? The hair can be short, long, it could be curly. I mean, your hair can always be whatever it wants to be, right? But there's certain rules that are guided along with different placements because it just looks better like certain placements even if you're naturally curly you want your hair to be straight to bring out the height and beauty but with jupiterian energy it's pretty much wild and free that's really the the overall thing and it doesn't really matter as much as you can see about color or straight or long or short Okay, so I hope this has stimulated you guys because um, this video actually added more elements of understanding the placement than I have with the others, but um, it's really almost hard to grasp unless you bring that in. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Stay tuned for the next video, which will be Venus and Capricorn. Peace and love. Mwah!